Greetings class of 2020. Welcome to the first ever Simon G. Atkins Academic and Technology High School virtual graduation ceremony. This is not how any of us imagined our graduation would look like, but it is not by any means a miniature hard work. Four years ago, we chose a school that for most of us is a longer drive than our home schools and came with the caveat of small. But wow, am I so grateful we did. It is difficult to express in words what Atkins and the people here have meant to me. It is surreal to look back at us as freshmen, shouting Campbell Pride from our first time at a sporting event to taking senior pictures and enjoying the lounge, sometimes, as we experience the sense of community here. Friends, we have all grown as students, leaders, athletes, artists, but most importantly, as people. This year brought some of the most difficult and heartbreaking hurdles. Mr. Childers models integrity and leadership every single day, and will be so proud of us. To the teachers and staff, on behalf of my fellow graduates, from the bottom of our hearts, we thank you immensely for everything you have done. Now, it is time to say goodbye to our home away from home, when our time together was unfortunately cut short. Nevertheless, we persisted. We graduated, and that is something to celebrate. We will continue to learn as we go off to college, join the workforce of the military. We will take the memories of our time together and cherish it as we begin the next chapter of our lives. Good luck class of 2020. I cannot wait to see what wonderful things we accomplish. My name is Shay Woodbury, Chair of the Winston-Salem Forsyth County Board of Education, and I bring greetings on behalf of the Board of Education and the Superintendent, Dr. Angela Harrison. It is an honor and privilege to recognize and celebrate the graduating class of 2020 of Winston-Salem Forsyth County Schools. This class has definitely made history because you have persevered through a global pandemic. You have learned to love more because of a global pandemic, and you will transform our world after a global pandemic. This community is proud of you, love you, and wish you the best. So we hope you stay safe. May you have peace and many blessings. Thank you. To the class of 2020, I am honored to be before you for this special occasion. While the culminating experience for many classes before you was the traditional pomp and circumstance, your experience here today cannot be described as traditional because these are not traditional times. In spite of all that you've endured, you have risen to the challenge to be one of our most successful graduating classes. Your school graduation here today is the beginning of a new journey in life one that is full of self-discovery and opportunity to take on the world. The Winston-Salem Forsyth County graduating class of 2020 is made up of 3,900 students who can be described as the generation to pave the way to a different type of world, one in which we will be proud to live and grow in in years to come. This class has endured and demonstrated leadership beyond imagination. You are on track to receive more than $120 million in academic scholarships. You are Moorhead Scholars. You are National Merit Scholars. You are Park Scholars. You are Cheetah White Scholars. You are Academy Appointments. You will attend HBCUs across the country. You will attend Ivy League universities across the country. You will attend community colleges, public and private, across this great nation. You will enter every branch of the armed forces. You will enter the workforce. You are recipients of the Winston-Salem Foundation Youth Grant Makers in Action. You are recipients of the YMC Black Achievers Awards. Nearly 1,500 of you are Crosby Scholars. How great that is. You are the Winston-Salem Forsyth County Governor's Volunteer Service Award recipients, and you are the YMCA Latino Achievers Award winners. But none of that, none of that matters as much 
as the fact that you are the proud graduates, the great graduates, the wonderful students of very proud parents, grandparents, and other family members. This graduation, graduating class will never be forgotten. You will never be forgotten. You are a special group of students. I challenge you to go forward and lead, go forward and change the world. Go forward and dare to be all you can be. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Hello, Atkins class of 2020. Welcome to one of the most important days in your life, your high school graduation day. The road to this day has had many obstacles, but here you are, ready to enter the next phase in your life. You have worked hard to reach this milestone, and you can be proud of what you have accomplished at Atkins Academic and Technology High School over the past four years. As a class, you have endured many challenges during your senior year at Atkins. Yet no matter what has come at you, you have all persevered and made it to graduation. I am proud to say that all 232 seniors at Atkins are graduating today. This fact is very impressive, especially considering all the events that could have derailed so many of you along the way. Through sadness and through a global pandemic, you all have risen to the challenge and completed your high school requirements with great success. The Atkins staff is so proud of you and all that you've accomplished in your high school career. You have earned all types of honors and accolades because of your hard work inside and outside of the classroom. You have brought tremendous recognition to Atkins because of your successes. Thanks to you, Students from throughout Forsyth County know that Atkins is the premier high school in our community. Now you are off to bigger and better things in this world. Whether you are headed to military service, to a college campus, or to the world of work, know that your Atkins family is so very proud of each one of you. I am confident that all 232 of you are well prepared for the world ahead. Even these unprecedented times in our lives, you had the skills and knowledge needed to be successful in this world. I challenge you to go out and share the Atkins way with others you encounter. Share our spirit of kindness, compassion, and acceptance. Be a champion for what is good in our world and for what really matters in our lives. Use what you have learned at Atkins to make your communities a safer place for others to thrive. No matter where you are or where you go, the Atkins way will always be a part of who you are. Share it and celebrate it each day. Good afternoon, graduating class of Atkins High School 2020. I am so happy to be here with you this afternoon, and I first have to start by thanking you. I thank you, senior class, for allowing me to become of your Atkins family. You embraced me and took me in and taught me the Atkins way, and for that I will be forever grateful. You all have touched a special place in my heart and will always be there, and I will always be there for you. But the reason we are here today is because this is your day. This is about perseverance. This is the fact that you have surpassed and overcome so many obstacles this year that you can't even call them obstacles anymore. You have had challenges and you've embraced every one. You had tragedy this year. You've had the unknown, the unspeakable happen to where there's many events in your lives this year that you weren't able to participate in. But look at you now. You are now getting ready to either go off to college, zoom into college, or begin your work job. So make sure you realize that you can do any of these things. Nothing can hinder you. No matter how hard the tests get, how hard things get at school, how hard things get on the job, you've got this. You will persevere because you have shown 
what the Atkins Way means and what the senior class is made of. I am proud of every single one of you. I will forever be grateful to you. I will forever love you. And I am just so proud to be a camel. Way to go, class of 2020. Congratulations. Greetings. I am Kenya Rocker, Director of Student Services at Simon G. Atkins Academic and Technology High School. It is with great pleasure that I have the privilege of recognizing a few of the many accomplishments and honors of the class of 2020. But before I proceed to honor our esteemed senior class, I would like to take a moment to recognize our 2020 Junior Marshals. This honor is bestowed upon the top 5% of the junior class at Atkins Academic and Technology High School. This honor is based on class rank that is determined by cumulative weighted grade point average through the first five semesters of high school. Our 2020 junior marshals are featured at this time and are also listed in our commencement program. We applaud the hard work of these students and look forward to all they will accomplish in their upcoming senior year. Now to the class of 2020. I will take this time to recognize some students who have had a special impact on our school's quest for academic excellence, which is evident in their membership in various honor societies and academic designations. Crosby Scholars. The Crosby Scholars program is a college access program designed to help students prepare academically and financially for college enrollment. The program offers a host of workshops, timelines, guidance, and assistance to help students and their families plan for four-year and two-year college enrollment. To graduate as a Crosby Scholar, students have to complete the program a minimum of three consecutive years in high school without interruption. All senior Crosby Scholars are eligible to apply for a $1,200 last dollar grant from the Crosby Scholars Program, which is renewable for four years of college. This year, we have 116 seniors who completed the Crosby Scholars Program. I am also happy to report that 44 of our senior Crosby Scholars will receive the Executive Director Award Book Scholarship which is awarded to students who have completed the program uninterrupted since sixth grade. Our senior Crosby Scholars are featured at this time and are denoted in our commencement program. National Honor Society. National Honor Society members are chosen based on an application process that assesses character, leadership, and service. Members must also have maintained at least a 3.2 unweighted grade point average. These students will receive intertwined gold and blue cords to mark their outstanding achievement throughout their high school careers. We have 45 seniors who are members of the National Honor Society. Our senior National Honor Society members are featured at this time and are denoted in the commencement program. National Technical Honor Society. National Technical Honor Society is based on an application process that is available to seniors only based on their academic performance within their STEM major. Members must have maintained an unweighted 3.5 grade point average, have had no discipline referrals, and have taken a completer course with a focus on one of the Atkins STEM majors. These students will receive silver and gray intertwined cords to mark their outstanding achievements in STEM throughout their high school careers. We have 68 seniors who are members of the National Technical Honor Society. Our senior NTHS members are featured at this time and are denoted in the commencement program. 
Science National Honor Society. The purpose of Science National Honor Society is to encourage participation in and recognition of scientific and intellectual thought. It is to advance the student's knowledge of classical and modern science, to communicate with the scientific community, and to aid the civic community with its comprehension of science. Each member has maintained a 3.5 unweighted grade point average while also maintaining a 3.7 grade point average in all science courses taken in grades 9 through 12. These students must have completed at least one advanced placement science course and have had no disciplinary actions taken against them during their high school career. These students will receive purple, green, and gold intertwined cords to mark their achievement. We have 22 seniors who are members of the National Science Honor Society. Our senior NSHS members are featured at this time and are denoted in the commencement program. Tri-M Music Honor Society, formerly known as Modern Music Masters, is a program designed to honor students for their musical and academic achievements. Members must maintain a 3.0 unweighted grade point average and have served in their music programs for at least one full year in order to participate. These students have gone above and beyond in their musical disciplines in order to be recognized as a modern music master. These students will receive pink chords to signify their achievements. We have 23 seniors who are members of the Tri-M Music Honor Society. Our senior Tri-M Music Honor Society members are featured at this time and are denoted in the commencement program. North Carolina Academic Scholars. In March of 1983, the state of North Carolina began honoring students who have maintained an unweighted grade point average of 3.5 and who, in addition to their graduation requirements, have completed the following. Math through Math 3 and one level higher, chemistry or physics, two years of foreign language in the same language, four elective credits constituting a concentration in CTE, JROTC, arts education, or second languages, and three advanced electives taken in the junior or senior year that carry advanced placement or honors weight. This year, we have 88 North Carolina academic scholars. These students will receive a seal for their diploma to mark their achievement. The North Carolina Academic Scholars are featured at this time and are denoted in your commencement program. Honor Graduates. Winston-Salem Forsyth County Schools recognize honor graduates as the students who are ranked in the top 10% of their class based on academic performance from grades nine through the first semester of grade 12. Our honor graduates will receive two intertwined white honor cords to mark their achievement. This year, we have 23 honor graduates. Our honor graduates are being featured at this time and are noted in the commencement program. Three years ago at Atkins, we transitioned to recognizing superior scholarship through the Latin honor system. These honors were determined based on the cumulative weighted grade point averages from grade nine through the first semester of grade 12. Graduates who have earned these honors are denoted on the program as cum laude, magna cum laude, or summa cum laude. Seniors who have earned a weighted grade point average of 3.75 to 3.99 are designated as cum laude. Seniors who have earned a weighted grade point average of 4.0 to 4.249 
have received the distinction of magna cum laude. Seniors who have earned a weighted grade point average of 4.25 or higher have been granted the distinction of summa cum laude. The Latin honors designations are indicated on the commencement program for all seniors who have earned the respective distinctions. Congratulations on your tremendous academic achievements. The Montague Medal. The Montague Medal was first awarded in 1889 by Colonel Montague, an attorney and resident of Winston-Salem who was very interested in education. When he died in 1938, he created a trust that is now administered by the Winston-Salem Foundation to continue annually awarding the Montague Medal. The recipient of the Montague Medal at each high school will be the senior who has the highest total quality point average earned during their senior year. The Montague Medal recipient for Atkins Academic and Technology High School is Emma Grace Ambrosius. At this time, I'd like to recognize our salutatorians. Historically, the salutatorian is the student who has earned the second highest cumulative quality point average in their senior class throughout grades nine through 12. This year, we have a tie for the title of salutatorian. With grade point averages of 4.6792, this year's salutatorians are Emma Grace Ambrosius and William Alexander Graham. M plans to attend Johns Hopkins University where she plans to major in chemistry. Alex plans to attend North Carolina State University where he will major in nuclear engineering. Congratulations to our salutatorians. Let's face it, this year has been difficult, but it's over. We did it! Our most recent crisis has pointed out some gaping holes in our societal infrastructure, most notably in healthcare, welfare, and educational settings. Our society is in a difficult place at the moment, yet we juxtapose a life milestone and celebration with a devastating loss. But we have a future, no matter how cliche that may sound, we have the power and knowledge to change the dynamics of our local and global communities. In November, we have the opportunity to affect the structure and outcomes of our government, and I urge all of you not just to vote, but to be informed voters, making decisions both for yourselves and for our peers who are not as well off. We need to hold on to the lessons of compassion that we've learned over the past four years. The strengths of Atkins programs have more than prepared us for the world and this crisis. Through the biotechnology major, we learned the genetics of diseases, and antiseptic techniques. Health science majors learn how diseases infect and how to heal people. Engineering majors learn problem solving strategies to adapt our systems to a more socially distant reality. Science visualization majors learn how to convey epidemiological data, while their partners, the game design majors, learn how to keep us all entertained. But beyond these courses, we have learned through our public schooling the importance of people coming together using their unique talents for the aid of the many. Beyond the one-dimensional label of Atkins being the smart school, well, as a myriad of driven students diverse in their interests, beliefs, and goals. I surveyed my classmates, and they have incredibly diverse career goals, from wanting to be teachers, nurses, and researchers, to musicians, Broadway performers, and professional bike racers. But more than the career, we want to use our knowledge of nuclear engineering, green chemistry, and pediatric oncology to help save the lives of our fellow humans and our planet. On the whole, we love looking back at our marching band and other performing arts accomplishments, our rank in JROTC, our homecoming dances and pep rallies, our relationships with teachers and peers, magnet nights, and the impact of Mr. Childers. We are incredibly proud of our academic success, making it to college, setting school athletic records, and becoming homecoming prince. 
Finally, our class wants to remind you to take advantage of this time however you can, to remember to stay, stay in touch with friends, to forgive yourself, and to remember that it will get better. But most importantly, our class wants to say thank you to the parents, guardians, teachers, administrators, and peers that have helped them to get to the point where they're graduating high school. For our school, our difficult year came well before any rumors of COVID-19. The Monday after Thanksgiving break was the hardest day of school I ever had. We learned that our beloved principal had passed away after dedicating his life to education at Atkins High School. Mr. Childress believed that the high school years are critical in helping students develop into good citizens and in laying the foundation for academic success. It's a school's responsibility to provide an environment that nurtures each student's intellectual, social, ethical, and physical development. I took that quote directly from his webpage. Thank you, Mr. Childress. Thank you for what you did to build a strong, accepting community that has chosen to continue your legacy. Thank you for Ms. Atkinson, Ms. Netter, Mr. James, Dr. Nichols, and everyone else who led and continues to lead our Atkins community. To the activities that I was personally involved in, Atkins Genders and Sexualities Mem Alliance members, thank you. For the laughs, dancing, and serious conversations. When we founded the GSA, I had no idea the extent of the wonderful queer community within my high school's walls. To Science Olympia, thank you for teaching me astronomy, protein structures, thermodynamics, and the properties of 15 specific white powders. But more importantly, for the family that I was able to build with my teens. Through learning and teaching in Sayali, I found my passions while watching my friends find theirs. To the Atkins High School community, thank you for fostering a collaborative space where today's students will be tomorrow's citizens. I hope you and your families are safe, healthy, careful, and kind during this time. First and foremost, I would like to wish you, my classmates, all 231 of you, a personal congratulations. We have all traveled a long, twisting, turning, staying up way too late some nights road for the past four years together. And it has been quite a journey to end up where we are today. And that is to say the least. Who expected you would be sitting at home in your graduation robes or your pajamas, or maybe even your underwear? I won't judge. For the day, which was supposed to sum up your entire high school career. So as we stop today to reflect on all our years here, all our achievements, all our hard work, all our wins, all our losses, all our memories, let us take a moment to consider how we got here. We arrived in the fall of 2016 as freshmen, the fish, the freshmen. Back then, while we were smaller and probably a little more scared of these giant looming halls than we are now, the biggest problem we had were these horrible things called biology proficiency assessments. Short but demonic contraptions that required you to make above a certain score or else you'd have to come back to school to retake them. Especially with the world as it is today, I bet we still wish that was our biggest problem. By sophomore year, we had high school mostly figured out and we took a chemistry class, right? Remember that? No matter who you had, that was an experience. Most of us also had a civic service project, business project, and globalization paper that year all three of which were heavily procrastinating. Junior year to me is still kind of a blur. By this year, we understood high school as well as the engineering car nuts understand an engine. If you don't speak simile, that's quite a bit of understanding. Junior year was a grind of academics, clubs, sports, extracurriculars, arts, the whole shebang. This year seemed to drag painfully on and on and on, but in the grand scheme of things, it flew by. At this point, I feel obligated to mention two iconic Atkins traditions, which happen to go hand in hand. Smog. There, I said it. 
It wouldn't be Atkins, it wouldn't be a speech about Atkins without mentioning that absolutely riveting standard mode of dress. Whether you wore it faithfully or faked it well, or in some cases, not so well, hats off to you for putting up with it, except don't actually take off your hat right now because, you know, it's not time for, it's not time for that. The figure who went along with Smod was Mr. James. While he is definitely a pretty cool dude, and this is more of a joke, is he a superhuman? I mean, there's an uncanny likeness between him and the Predator. Practically teleporting around the school, appearing behind doorways, the jingle of keys, sparking shivers down your back. Even if you were doing nothing wrong, locking eyes with him could still be scary. And always having to look over your shoulder, see if he was there. I think that just about brings us to senior year. Our turn to be the big dogs on campus. The year started in a blaze of fiery glory called college application season. And it was accompanied by a multitude of reminders. Complete your senior profile, come to the senior meeting, order your senior cap and gown, pay your senior fees, senior this, senior that. At this point, we were all hoping for the spring to bring things like prom, senior trips, senior day, time with friends, and a relaxing end to our school year. Unfortunately, it was also at this point our final year took a turn for the worse. Monday, December 22nd, 2019. The day we were informed that our beloved principal, Joe Childers, had died unexpectedly. It was a day of great pain and not the last of those such days. He had faithfully led the school into a position of prestige across the county and state, winning the Scholastic Cup six years in a row, the same number of consecutive academic team county wins, state champion teams and individuals in athletics, academics, and plenty of banners and trophies lining our main hall, many of which our class contributed. He was a great man who cared deeply about us as individuals, our success at the school, and beyond. He would stop you in the hallway, call you by name, give you a smile or a wave, make you feel like you belonged here. And then he was gone, just like that, gone. However, we wouldn't just give up. We wouldn't just give in. We're Atkins, and if there's any school out there that could weather a blow like that, it was us. Not that it didn't hurt, because it did, and it stung more for us as we had known him for all four years, but we still had to finish our year. We came back from winter break, took our midterms or semester finals, and were ready for spring. This year had been bad enough already with this loss, so we continued to look forward to a brighter future, right? With spring would come all those good things we wanted, right? Well, not exactly. Friday. March 13th, 2020, 92 days ago. Whether you had guessed it or not, that Friday was our last day of school. Our life as we knew it changed. All the things we had been hoping for the spring would bring, including a final goodbye to our favorite teachers and staff, a normal graduation, were curtailed by COVID-19. Another devastating blow. We struggled through mandated e-learning for a few weeks in shock, and eventually school was formally called off. Just like that, gone. I bring up these unhappy memories to make a few points. Only fools do not learn from their mistakes, and though you may joke with your friends, Atkins does not have many of those. We are young and foolish from time to time, but we are not completely unwise. Life is short and ever so precious. I urge you to make sure your loved ones know they are loved. Joe Childers' sudden death and the sudden end to our school year are both a testament to how quickly and dramatically life can change. Don't just hear me say that. Make it your mission today, on this great day of celebration, to thank those around you who have helped you get this far. To let them know you care for them, as you never know when your last moment with them could be. Second, I encourage you to strive to be kind to those around you and give everyone respect, even when it is difficult. This virus has caused us to live in a way which is uncomfortable. 
in a way which takes away many things we enjoy. This causes tempers to run high and flare up more than they normally would. We have all been stuck at home with our parents, families, and that hasn't been easy either. Everyone has been affected in some way, and right now what we need in the world is more kindness, respect, and acceptance. We are, quite frankly, all in this together. We will live better lives if we choose to come together and choose to be kind. Being an Atkins student is an advantage. I think it's safe to say our school has less bullying, less hazing, less violence, and certainly fewer fights than other schools. We have already been practicing being kind in our diverse school community. Now I would ask you to please continue this effort as we go out into the world. My last piece of advice for all the 2020 seniors would to be realize how strong you are. Look at the challenges we dealt with over the past four years, and certainly this year. Life will continue to be full of adversity, and we will have to overcome it. We have already been doing that, and we are truly a force to be reckoned with. We will also continue fighting this pandemic for years to come, and our class of 232, our generation as a whole, hardened by this battle and many other battles we have fought, will change the face of the world as we know it. We will do great things. As my speech and this school year come to a close, I hope you can look back fondly at your time at Simon G. Atkins Academic and Technology High School. I hope you will take a few moments to reflect upon and appreciate your fantastic achievements, hours upon hours of hard work, triumphs of all kinds, and cherish those memories we have made. Share with your loved ones how much you care about them, be kind to all, and continue to tackle each challenge hurled at you with grace and skill. Be the change you want to see in the world. And with that, congratulations, Atkins Class of 2020. We made it. You guys are awesome. Everyone, have a great night. The Winston-Salem Valedictorian Award. Winston-Salem Forsyth County Schools and the Winston-Salem Journal annually recognize the one senior from each high school who has earned the highest cumulative quality point average based on work completed throughout grades 9 through 12. This student is named valedictorian, featured in the journal, receives a beautiful marble award, and is touted as one of the best and brightest in Forsyth County. This year's valedictorian is Benjamin Grady Armentrout. He is graduating with a weighted grade point average of 4.72. Ben plans to attend Duke University in the fall where he will major in physics. Congratulations. Greetings, Simon Green Atkins Academic and Technology High School, Class of 2020. This is surely not the way I thought graduation would be, but I am honored to be the third consecutive member of the men's cross country team to have this opportunity to address their class as valedictorian. I would be remiss if I did not first take this opportunity to congratulate you all on one of the greatest challenges one can overcome, surviving 3.7 years of SMOD regardless of whether you actually chose to wear it or not. You can now officially retire all of your maroon polos and khaki shorts that come to your knee crease, not just kneecap, without fear of a trip to the dreaded smog closet. These past three months have been both the best of times and the worst of times. While it has been nice, personally at least, to be free from the jaws of the 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. school day with the addition of after-school activities following the coronavirus took away what was supposed to be our victory lap of high school, fourth quarter. But rather than focus on the untimely end to our secondary education, I want to take a moment to look back on how far we have come in the last four years, both as a class and a school. Our freshman year, the biggest sports moment of the year at Atkins was when the rope broke during the pep rally. This year, 
the indoor track team claimed the school's first state title since the basketball team's state tournament victory in 1969, over 50 years ago, in the newly integrated NCHSAA. Our sports teams and individuals claim numerous other conference and regional awards this year as well. Athletics at Atkins have come so far during our tenure at the school that progress is owed to the hard work and dedication of you student athletes and our wonderful coaches. As always, academic competition at Atkins has been superb. This year, the academic team claimed the county title for the sixth year in a row, reigning dominant over East Forsyth in the final match. The Science Olympiad team reclaimed its title as regional champion. Numerous other teams and individuals had amazing showings in their own competitions, and many others would have claimed state titles this spring if not for the current global health crisis. Visual and performing arts at Atkins once again showed their strength. The Wind Symphony was the best it has ever been. The chorus earned a superior at NPA, and many other artists and ensembles proved that Atkins is a place where STEM and the arts truly flourish. However, the greatness that you all exhibit in competition is only part of what made Atkins special. Take a minute to imagine sitting in the Joel at a traditional graduation ceremony, sitting within six feet of each other, the whole class together again. Imagine the faces of those around you and think back on the experiences you've had as an Atkins student. Our class is made up of students of all different creeds, all united by the desire to learn at a high level. Four years at Atkins gave us the opportunity, with people we may have otherwise never encountered, to build new relationships on our quest through high school. Through this journey, we've ha also had the support of, I must say, the best teachers and staff in the school system. We've had an English department that taught us how to express ourselves through language and understand our world of words a math department that taught us how to grapple with the problems facing us using formulas and logic, a science department that taught us how to be inquisitive of our natural world and discover its hidden truths through the scientific method, a social studies department that taught us the power of knowing how society works so we can transform it for the better, an arts department that showed us how to put beauty into the world through our craft and to find joy in creation for its own sake our elective and major departments that gave us the means to explore our passions and develop useful skills in the process. The entire Atkins staff who worked tirelessly on our behalf to give us the best opportunities Atkins has to offer. And of course, our beloved Joe Childers who inspired us every single day with his passion for helping others and his championship of what has been come to known as the Atkins way. To all the teachers and staff who helped us on this journey, we thank you. Your efforts mean more to me and my fellow graduates than we could ever express. On this eventful journey to graduation, whether you worked diligently to stay on top of assignments or heavily procrastinated like I did this speech, you made it. You graduated, and that is something to be very proud of. Your efforts through these last four years have not gone without reward and will prepare you for the next phase of life. We are uniquely prepared to handle the unexpected, to grapple with the uncertainties facing both ourselves and the entire world. Through this crisis, we have learned to appreciate the joys of everyday life and recognize that celebrations can be big or small and happen every day. And for this unknown future, Atkins Class of 2020, we are prepared. I wish you all the best of luck in the extraordinary things each and every single one of you will do in the future. In conclusion, it is with great pleasure that for just the second time, I will present the Togo West Prize. The Honorable Togo Dennis West Jr. is one of Atkins High School's most distinguished and accomplished alumni. Togo Dennis West Jr. grew up in East Winston-Salem after both of his parents had been recruited to teach at Atkins High School. His father, Togo West Sr., remained at Atkins for 32 years and eventually became the principal. Togo West Jr. graduated from Atkins High School in 1959 
as a member of the National Honor Society, an Eagle Scout, and the class valedictorian. Upon graduating, Togo attended Howard University, where he earned a Bachelor of Science degree in electrical engineering. Then he went on to graduate first in his class from the Howard University School of Law. Togo West went on to serve in several positions as legal counsel in the administrations of Presidents Ford, Carter, and Clinton. Eventually, Mr. West was appointed by President Bill Clinton as the United States Secretary of the Army in 1993 and the United States Secretary of Veteran Affairs in 1998. Before his death in 2018, Mr. West established an endowment to give back to Atkins High School. As such, beginning last year, the Togo West Prize will be awarded annually to the student who graduates as the valedictorian of the Atkins High Senior Class. I am proud to announce that as this year's recipient of the Togo West Prize, Benjamin Grady Armentrout has been awarded a $4,000 scholarship to be used towards his college education. Congratulations. We are now ready for the presentation of the Simon G. Atkins Academic and Technology High School Distinguished Class of 2020. William Rashad Anderson. Noah Walker Biggs. Kent Avery Cardwell. Edna Martella Carruthers. Malcolm Isaiah Hatcher. Ian Christopher Jensen. Jonae Doris Johnson. Ethan Laura Estrella. Ahmad Kyrie Trajan Mills. Imani Joy Tamalayo Awakanuran. Jasmine Desiree Pompey. Hunter Hendricks Paul Rador. Emma Grace Ambrosius. Sadie Wren Austin. Macy Jade Clarita. Madeline Louise Edwards. Travis Andre Edwards. Pierre Ramon Haney. Roy Allen Hedgecoff. Jesus Javier Jimenez. Christian Dylan Keith. Emily Catherine Laws. Aria Micaiah Leslie. Jalen Ahaja Matthews. Riley Richard McBride. Joshua Jesus Nava Del Rio. Takaya Salacia Pauling. Tyler Andrew Shaw. Rachel Meechen Tang. Brianna Elise Thompson. Haley Lynn Watson. Parker Reed Davis. Seth Michael Davis. Riley Patrick Dalbum. Ethan Edward Gilkey. Gregory 
Imad Gordon II. William Aubrey Johnson. Musa Kasim Kareem. Nathan Wallace Lalonde. Donald Joseph Leahy Jr. Joshua Van Murph. Iyanu Ayudeji Olajide. Michael Cade Patton. Dominique Joseph Panino. Barry Dexter Roundtree Jr. Patrick Neil Stanley. Brianna Grace Vi. Alexander Joseph Weevil. Maggie Amelia Bowman. Franklin Leon Burgess III. August Henry Lee Coyne. Jalen Jamar Crawford. Douglas Brooks Davidson. Hannah Grace Edgerton. Katie Rebecca Flanagan. Mariana Antoinette Flores. Noah Gray Fowler. Derek June Gerard. Parker Brian Green. Raphael Napoleon Medina. Caleb Lee Morgan. Jacob Christian Myers. Jeremy Jair Rodriguez Marti. Graham Christopher Tuck. Carissa Ann Utley. John Andrew Verner. Luis Alejandro Bradshaw. Elijah James Cross. Haley Marie Krause. Shannon Elizabeth Dave. Andrea Victoria Garcia Fuentes. Michael Hernandez Suarez. Jordan Nathaniel Mitchell. Luis Ignacio Morales Jr. Nicholas Dale Mounts. Jackson Gray Northern. Priscilla Perez. David Malachi St. Hilaire III. Axel Sanchez Noyola. Sky Sebastian Sullivan. Jaden Elizabeth Swift. Samantha Marie Wigum. Evan Charles Allen. Glenwood Allen the third Benjamin Grady Armentrout Cameron Latrell Addix Nathan Sean Nicholas Bailey Tori Lamont Bailey Huffaker Lucas Adam Bender Wesley Ray Braxton. Jaden Lincoln Campbell. Stephen Dodge Campbell. 
Ryan Lanice Carruthers Ethan Anthony Caricia Christopher Cervantes Varun Srishanmuka Chala David Alvin Davenport Jaleel Emmanuel DeBerry Adrian Deep Rigvid Kushik Dotty Caitlin Marie Fisher Parker Andrew Fisher Justin Chance Fuller Harrison Tate McKinley Good Nedum Senjik Gradisevic William Alexander Graham the Fifth Jacob Kenneth Green Frank Joseph Hackle the Fourth Richard Allen Haney Jr. Jacob Raymond Hanks Bryson Cornelius Holmes Hunter Thomas Hudson Jaden Alexander Ingram Nathan Bradley Jacobs Matthew Joseph Larson John Webster Lipscomb Zoe Virginia Marizita Dalton Ansley Martin Yinka Noel Mason Avante Leon Matthews Joshua Kyle Mayo Molly Elizabeth McKenna Sarah Elizabeth Holmes McLam Wake Tyler Merrill Dwayne Anthony Miller II Naheem Rashawn Mitchell Ronald Williams Motes IV Dylan Jacob Modal Caleb Christopher Moore William Henry Moritz Joseph Carl Morgan Ethan Ormus Ney Jacqueline Nectaria Nikis Jackson Jeffrey Oves Juan Diego Para Lizarazo Caleb Noel Phillips Javon Jamel Pittman Adrian Dermont Preston Jr. Roman Marcel Towns Robinson Caleb Krim Rollins Anthony Rosario Adam Paget Sheely Eric Gunner Schultz Ethan Merrill Stewart Maximus Rodrigo Tears Jacob Angel Torres Isaiah Michael Trollinger Eric Jeremiah Vargas Eric Andres Vasquez Garcia Janie Venkat Justin Allen Watson Leah Marie West 
Spencer James Williams. Seth Landon Wilson. Brian William Zwiener. Jawan Lamar Archie. Sunday Rose Battleson. Christopher Evans Bean. Myra Susanna Bonilla Lozano. Kaylin LeMay Brock. Blake Evans Brown. Camden Yanwa Burns. Jack Alexander Cahill. Adia Imani Carter. Gayatri Tatuamasi Chinalapati. Amelia Lynn Coleman. Blake Alexander Collins. Thomas Reed Connolly. Delamar Correa Ortiz. Crystal Janae Davis. Jessica Dominguez Martinez. Caddy Michelle Espinoza Romero. Elizabeth Ann Fischel. Sarah Takai Ford. Taylor Lindsay Freeman. Ariana Akasha Gallos. Kelly Lee Garut. Melina Adamari Gonzalez. Cynthia Concepcion Gonzalez Avila. Raina Lee Gordon. Kimberly Cheyenne Gregg. Bailey Faith Hagen. Sarah Nicole Hanlon. Brania D'Angelique Higgs. Dylan Jacob Hudler. Raja Saida Sheree Huntley. Vivian Lee James. Alejandra Yaramiro. Sebastian Michael Jeffers. Terry Fletcher Dunleavy Johnson. Daniela Faith Johnston. Anasia Monique Lyles. Jorge Luis Martinez Flores. Mariah Janelle McLaurin. Ashton Victoria Melton. Caitlin Renee Mills. Aliyah Monsalve. Laura Denise Moreno Morales. Alyssa Denise Odom. Caitlin Diane Parsons. Jo Joselina Elaine Payne. Kayla Lori Peregrina. Reagan Elise Perkins. Amaya Cheyenne Pitts. Henry Gray Present. Landon Nathaniel Privet. Lillian Taylor Reed. Michaela Denat Regan. Joseph Denard Reed II. Elijah Spurgeon Casson Rasulo. Shay Elizabeth Richardson. 
Mariah Yasmin Robertson. Kimberly Ann Rodriguez Marty. Elizabeth Salazar Garcia. Nicholas Salazar Garcia. Ariana Danae Scales. Jordan Amari Settles. Fawaz Shahid. Lauren Ashanti Shirai. Wyland Nicole Locklear Shrewsbury. Ralph Denzel David Sikat. Zuri Aquinda Slaughter. Caleb Hassan Smith. Jared Brent Smith. Ryan Luke Stevens. Theodore William Swanson. Marissa Janice Todman. Yesley Sitalalis Toribio. Zoe Lydia Tubbs. Samantha Carolyn Walker. William Connor Witt. Jayla Ture Young. As principal of Simon G. Atkins Academic and Technology High School, I am proud to declare you graduates of the class of 2020. Go forth and share your spirit and compassion with your community. Best of luck to each one of you. Thank you.